Hi everyone, my name is Abel Brick and Toma from Greatest Design Consult. Uh, I'm excited to have you. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to model a stepped foundation in Prota Structure 2024. This is another very great feature that has been added into Prota Structure that makes your design much more realistic um as you can see i'm going to be adding that foundation in this our uh, model so uh let's go uh straight into it all right so if you come to your story zero you will not be able to see these columns at story zero because these columns are not actually extending down to the story uh to the zero to the ground floor level okay to the story one so these columns are not coming down they are not up to they were not created in the story one okay so if that is correct how do i make these columns reflect at my foundation level um the first thing you do make sure you come to your support types and you come to your support types you can see these are the restraints these are fixed okay these are the hinge and this is the ruler support you will agree with me from uh the first principle of your design you will get to understand all of these how that the fix uh, support is actually fixed all around. You can see along the X, Y, Z, the rotation along X, Y, Z as well. Okay, so if that is correct, all you need to do is to click on add button. Once you click on add button and then you click on OK. When you click on OK, you can see the support will reflect here. Okay, I have already added mine. That is why it's showing here. So when you click on OK, then you click on OK. All right. So um, the next thing you do is to highlight these columns. Once you highlight the columns, just go to the properties of these columns. So I will highlight, I will right click, and I will come to the properties of this column. And I will click on support type. And I will click on this one that looks like a pencil and i will change this to support so automatically those columns are going to be fixed so you can see the fix is showing is reflecting here showing us that this is a fix they are all fixed okay all right so uh i will do similarly for this as well i will highlight it all and i will right click and i will go to the properties and i will click on support type i'll click on this pencil drop down uh, i will click on support and i'll click on ok and then i will close this now i've been able to add uh, a restraint to all of this column showing that all of them are fixed down okay at the bottom they are all fixed now, if that is correct, if you look at it from the story zero, you can see these columns are now being reflected. Now we have one, two, three. We have one, two. So this is basically the columns now that are actually uh, in this particular level. Now, if you look at this, this is story one, story two, story three. So this one starts from story four. Okay, so if that is correct, all I need to do now is to, I can insert a beam, uh, like a foundation beam for this. Um, if I come to my beam, let me show you one very important um, uh, tool that has also been um, Hold on. So as you can see, there is this beam called the tie beam has been included as well. So, but basically what I'm going to do now is just to insert my foundation beam. 
I click on that I can just insert my foundation there. so let's say uh, here and here we are going to be having a strip uh, footing so if we are having a strip footing here and then for this we will be having a part footing okay so for this one we'll be using part this one will be using the strip now if you look at this very well you realize that this beam has been created there it is actually at the level that these other columns are so um the reason is because we did not change the elevation so i can simply highlight this right click go to the properties and then i'll come to my dz i will change this to so remember like i said this is at uh, story 3 so each floor is 3 meters so that will be 9 meters above the ground so um good now you can see my beams now are at the position so this is basically how to insert that um we can do insert our strip footing now very easy to do that just highlight uh, select the beams and come to insert strip footing and it will be inserted so uh my analysis result is not up to date so it will not analyze that so um what i need to do is to sorry analyze this do the analysis for this just come to analysis go to building analysis so i will analyze this all right so um the analysis is done now all right so i will close this and Continue from where I stop. Uh, come back to my story zero. All right, so I will insert. We design this. Uh, it's important use the design envelope i'm not going to go through showing you all of this uh, we are just doing some uh, review so far about the software to see its capability as you can see this is a very great feature um this is good for a case where you have um, a varying elevation and and it's also very good for like your where you are going to be having like a basement and all that um, it's very good um, this is a very great feature even for just this feature I think the update is worth it uh, it's really worth it okay so that is that let me try to insert the part 14 let's see what we have so I will select all of them and right click Sad part okay well if you ask me i must say this is a very great uh, feature so far uh, it has made it way more flexible than it were before so um okay good all right
right so if you love what you are seeing just like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel it's actually 100 percent free click on the bell icon so as for you to get a notification whenever i post videos post videos like these on a weekly sometimes on a daily just to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight of design make sure you stay safe and stay blessed